uh, it's so far nobody has claimed responsibility for this attack, but uh, Egypt has been suffering different attacks by different uh, extremist groups, mainly by the, the Egyptian uh, branch of, uh, of uh, Daesh. And, uh, but uh, so far, what we can say about the, this attack is that, as you were explaining, at least seven people has been killed in a, in a shooting against a bus that was coming from a baptism in a, in a monastery. While, according to the Coptic Orthodox Church uh, spokesperson on Facebook page, uh, another another bus and another minibus had been attacked similar, similarly. And some uh, Coptic media are reporting already at least 10 victims and uh, 20 in Europe. So we can expect that in the following weeks, this number may increase. So as you said, these attacks have been common in the past years. How is Egypt tackling them? Well, he is trying to address a, a widespread uh, uh, operation against uh, against militants almost uh, uh, three years, uh, almost five years ago. But especially since last February, after a huge attack against the mosque in the Sinai Peninsula, uh, the the army is fighting against terrorism in this uh, in this area, in this northern uh, uh, Sinai Peninsula. Just yesterday, the army spokesperson was saying that they have achieved their goals, and people will, was, uh, was expecting that these sort of attacks uh, were, were going to, to end. But uh, the fact that this is happening in Minya, in a place that just a year ago was uh, attacked in a very similar way, with a gun shooting against a bus carrying cops from the community, it's, uh, it tells a lot of uh, how Egypt is still far from uh, addressing like the end of, uh, of terrorism in the country.